This week we work with the Tacoma Public Schools Environmental Learning Center to create rainworks around the Point Defiance Zoo. This project was intended to give students an opportunity to create art, but also create art with a message, a message of sustainability, and also just generated interest in the animal exhibits around them. Skeptical of changes in their cages And the zookeeper is very fond of rum so the first day we kind of looked at what different stencils there were like out online and what we could do. And then we got into different groups. Me and my partner, we made a tiger stencil and it shows a tiger like chasing after a gazelle. And the tiger was chasing the gazelles and we put it near the tiger enclosure. And we kind of were focusing on making stencils that would help be more aware about plastic pollution. So I was working with another person named Austin and we made three different stencils and they were all like an image of a different plastic item, like a straw. And next to them we had like a little quote that said like, skip the straw, seabirds think I am food. We placed that next to the rocky shores where the entrance to the puffins are and it was pretty fun. <laughs> I thought it was cool because I kind of thought last night that it wasn't going to show up pretty well, it's just going to be like all mushed together. And when we did like the reveal today, it was, it was great. <laughs> Ready? One. All the way across. Nice. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nicely done! I thought it was pretty cool to see all the kids like be in awe when we put the water on it. My favorite thing was seeing the kids' reactions kids touching the dry spot they were like their minds were blown and everything they thought it was pretty cool so it kind of made me happy working with like rainworks and sh making people happy like, it turned out very good if you're like new to rainworks I think you should try it it's pretty great today was a really sunny day so we got to walk around and see that they were invisible and not see them and then pour a bucket of water over them and then they'd magically appear so that was really fun and everyone around the zoo that was just there was thought they were really cool like it was pretty cool, like I thought like we might have like missed some spots on ours, but it turns out we did pretty well and we got every spot covered. It's pretty cool. It's fun for like kids or have like a fun time just making freehanding stuff or with a stencil. It's pretty great. I would totally do the project again. If you or your classroom is interested in getting involved with Rainworks, go to rain.works and check out our tutorial page. It has everything you need to know to make your own awesome rain activated art. Thank you for watching.